using Discord. Damn. Yeah, the Discord is so much uh, better than Zoom. That so, is. so anyway, I'm facing BK from uh, the guild Cantina Bums. Uh, oh, my game seems to be frozen. Hang on. <laughs> That's a game <laughs> issue. Yeah. That's not me, guys. That is not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What a drag. I know. Oh, well. Okay. Let me just uh, wait for the game to start responding again, and then we can begin. There we go. So my opponent, uh, BK from Cantina Bumps, uh, pretty similar size roster as me, um, you know, same GP level, three GLs just like me. Um, he's got Sith Eternal, I've got uh, Jedi Master Luke, but otherwise a uh, pretty similar roster. So I would say, uh, you know, pretty evenly matched. It's got about, uh, uh, let's see, oh, um, about 600K, 567K lifetime banners. Um, and he usually likes to keep all three GLs on defense. Um, and uh, that's what I've noticed in the last five year, five season, all all the times he's kept all three GLs on defense. But this time he's changed up his defense quite a lot. And uh, probably because of uh, Jeff Fett in there, <laughs> um, you know, advising him on, uh, on you know, teams that I'm struggling with. So I have to now second guess uh, myself on what I want to take on offense over here. Oh Lord. So it's going to be interesting. So... Uh, let me let me talk briefly about my defense first. Um, I've kept. Uh, I really haven't changed my defense much. I always keep uh, seven uniformly tough teams on defense. Um, so I've kept my Padme team over here. I've kept my Darth Revan over here, hoping to pull out some some good stuff. And uh, um, at the top, I've kept uh, my crew this time. With uh, um, and I think this is the the best first order team that I can think of without uh, SLKR. You know, you've got. Hux in there to prevent turn meter. You've got uh, first order stormtrooper and crew as the two tanks, and then we've got red in there. And then I've got my general grievous with newt. I've kept my uh, my my best car mando team with the stormtrooper han in there as well. That team got me a hold last time, um, so decided to go with that. And best car mando, if you're keeping on defense, you really need two tanks. Apart from IG eleven, you need another tank, so either L three or in this case. I've kept a uh, Stormtrooper Han just because of all the uh, turn meter generation. And then at the back, I've kept uh, my gas and uh, and CLS in here. And I was wondering whether to show my back or not, but you know, you I, I think uh, Jeff of Ed would have any, anyways figured it out <laughs> looking at my, my offense, so that's fine. Um, and you know, my policy is never keeping uh, GLs on defense. I keep my GLs on offense to ensure the full clear. And uh, and then keep a uniformly tough defense. So that's that's what I'm continuing to do over here. I have to say, uh, Endal, like I I feel like a tiny bit robbed. No, I don't think you're doing anything wrong at all. Uh, so don't. I, I feel like you, you used to like just put everything on defense, like yeah. everything, yeah. and uh, you know, like you've changed to a more like balanced way of doing things. And I I really I'm not saying anything negative about your play. Like I think you've been yeah. playing brilliantly. I just like I remember you used to be like, oh yeah, like the this is the end all defense. I'm like, yeah, like yeah. people will end end themselves on this. Yeah, you know what I realize is I don't need to keep my GLs on defense to prevent a full clear. Like in my three v three season, I kept my GLs on offense all the time, and my opponents out of the twelve matches, they were only able to clear once. <laughs> Um, so, and even this time I kept all okay. my GLs on offense last, yeah. the last match and my opponent was only able to clear two zones. So if you, uh, I think if you keep a uniformly tough defense, uh, you can get away with keeping your, uh, your GLs on offense. Um, it just depends, I guess. Um, and I think it was different back when there was only one GL when yeah. you can prevent the full clear. These days you can't really prevent a full clear, even if you keep, uh, uh, all your GLs on defense, uh, you know, depending on what your opponent does. So I decided to, you know, just play the efficiency game and ensure a, a win. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a change from what I used to do the uh, the FYC defense. <laughs> yeah, well, and please don't take that as criticism. I just I think that a few people have voiced that to me of like, yeah, he doesn't like he uses his GLs on offense, and I always do just like. 
I do just unilaterally defend you. I'm like, I, yeah. I'm like, dude, when you have like, don't criticize when you have as good a record as Endall. Like, you you just you, you don't question. You just trust that he yeah, knows what he's doing. So yeah, you know whatever whatever works, I guess. <laughs> I just like this. I've always it feels like it's like when you meet like your childhood hero and you find out they're human. You know? <laughs> <laughs> How dare yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, wow, you're actually pretty pretty great for a human. So. <laughs> The, just, the just other advantage of doing it, doing things a little predictably this way, is when you face an opponent that that is really, really tough, you can surprise them by by putting a, a GL on defense at the back yeah. if they're not expecting it. So if if you do it with opponents who uh, you know you really um, you know can more or less guarantee a victory, it's a different thing. But when you meet that that you know unicorn opponent who's really, really good and who can potentially beat you, and you and you can spring a surprise on them. That's when uh, you know keeping a GL on defense probably might prove useful, and especially at the back. So that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> True. Uh, so Ooh. Gig is getting restless. <laughs> all right, let's go. So let's my opponent, like, so uh, uh, BK usually always keeps all three GLs on defense, but this time he's not kept a single GL on defense, at least on uh, at the front. So I'm I'm thinking there might be a GL at the back, um, but. Uh, but what I'm thinking is, if there is a GL, it probably will be an SLK or, or a Sith Eternal Emperor. There's probably not going to be a Ray because he always keeps a Malak with uh, with Ray, um, and he's got his Malak and with the with the Sith oh, team over here. And uh, he always keeps his uh, Resistance heroes with uh, with Ray as well, and he's got both his Resistance heroes in um in with JTR over here. So I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have Ray back there. So I'm I'm going to use my Ray against the uh, the DR over here and. Uh, and take uh, and keep my my other two GLs for the back in case he has a SLKR or C. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's start off with a with a Ray solo against uh, DR. All right. I thought it was Ray Skywalker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Ray Skywalker. We don't need to get into that, Jareth. <laughs> Sorry to bring up politics, guys. <laughs> Split the community <laughs> like that. <laughs> No. All right. So I always start with a couple of lifeblood so that we can get one uh, one lifeblood out. I was hoping Malik would have. Oh yeah, Malik is taunting, so we can get rid of him right away. That's always Here so fun. It's like, oh, you think yeah. you're tough on defense? Here you go. Yeah. So uh, even so in three v three, I always uh, love to take Ray versus Dr. It's such a such a satisfying match, and I've done it quite a lot in five v fives as well. All right, this is the risk point right here. All right, you're good now. Yeah, I used to take in a couple window. of other. Yeah. Yeah. Ahead, I sometimes sorry. used to take in a couple of other characters over there with uh, with Ray, but they always get feared and end up not doing anything at all. Right. Right. So. Uh, let me just get rid of him. So I felt, uh, you know, it's might as well no point taking uh, taking the other guys in there. Jeez, they're, they're actually being pretty effective here, in fact. Yeah. That's a good oh, run. Oh, They're doing some real damage here. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, like, on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> there oh, you we go. Your now, there. We're, now we're fine. Yeah. Whoa. And, you know, one uh, one thing about 5v5 is I usually mod my Ray for uh, health. <laughs> But uh, this time I mod I left her at offense modding, just like my 3v3. Just because I plan to use her on offense more and I plan to solo teams like these more. So offense modding tends to work out a little bit better. It seemed a little dicey over there, but yeah, you know, I think I think I'm just gonna leave her with offense modding for the rest of 5v5. All right. That's fair. Good. Let me know how that works for you. Well, I mean, you always make it work, so maybe don't. But... <laughs> Endall I mean... is the new clash of, oh, Endall did what? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'll try it too. <laughs> I know. My wallet's like seeking for a, the next the next clash, I'm sure. Because <laughs> regardless of if you, you know, like wanted to build, I mean, if you if you play this game, you wanted to build Clash's stuff, you know, his right. comps were yeah. so, so like wild. And I'm like, I just really would love like some of these like B level or C level characters to work. And, th and then it turns <laughs> out they're actually like B plus. You just had no idea until Clash, you yeah. know, mind tricked you into it. 
So there's a Hux team, which I've really never seen on defense. Um, I've usually seen crew lead, so I can't take my JTR against that. But um, I'm thinking of taking my Jedi Knight Revan team against it. What do you guys feel? What what usually works best against a Hux team? I don't have Padme, so... Uh, I think Jedi Knight Revan is a good idea here. Yeah, I'm thinking of... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of this team, Jedi Knight Revan, with Yoda and Jolie and Basti and Obi-Wan for some more turn meter reduction. Yeah, I, I think that sh I think that should do it. Yeah, it still saves my JKL to use with JML at the right. back if needed. So do I mark a Hux or a Sith Trooper? I'd probably still do Sith Trooper, I think. Yeah. Jareth, what about you? Um, yeah, I... Sith Trooper is good here. I, I think, I think I would have probably marked Hux, but... I mean, Sith Trooper, it's hard to argue with that too. Yeah. It's just now, now there's yeah. this double taunt. Yeah, you could have maybe like snuck in and killed Hux there with with Yoda there. Yeah. But you got it anyways. Might not be so great for banners, but uh, I think... You, you just have to pray that they trigger Savior right at the very end yeah. somehow. That I, I on defense, I didn't set it this time, but Hux is very good at stealing banners, like as the lead. Absolutely, yeah. All right, so I've got health missing, uh, protection missing on JKR, on Ben and uh, and Jolie. Yeah. So I have to figure that out. Okay. All right, let's steal that. Did you just freeze again? Oh, did I? Oh yeah, it looks like my... Oh, my there, it just, I think it just caught up. Oh, oh okay. phew. Okay, I was like... Oh, actually... Ugh. Oh man, is it still frozen? It is. <laughs> did you win? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm still... Uh... Oh yeah, now I won. 58 banners but well we got uh, the victory me... screen <laughs> oh that's good yeah there we go i think now it seems to have caught up yeah sorry about that i'm not sure what the issue is <laughs> all right so we got an average of 60 banners i think <laughs> well that doesn't Indeed. suck yeah. <laughs> yeah oh okay that's interesting. So my opponent uh, has decided to keep all GLs on offense, just like me, and he's kept the gas <laughs> and uh, CLS in there. Hmm. When in Rome. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> when facing Endal, do as Endal does. Yeah. <laughs> in Endal, we trust. Um... Okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Gig with the gifts up to Luna. Thank you, Gig. Wondering what I have to take out gas. I'll have to use one of my GLs against that. Guys, and... I will be right back. I'm sorry. I'll be here to plan in a minute. And I'm wondering what to take against CLS over here. Hmm. Should have probably kept my General Grievous on offense. Uh, well, so what? Which? So we have Grievous, JTR, Padme. This is a strong defense. It is, yeah. So <laughs> my opponent usually keeps Kira and Poe at the at the back, but obviously this time is different. So um, yeah. it's um, it's going to be, uh, yeah. I'm I'm I'll be very curious to see what they do against my defense because <laughs> they'll have to use at least one GL against the DR, I think, because yeah. they have their own Padme on defense. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. It's it's almost a mirror of my defense because I've also kept gas and CRS at the back. <laughs> So it's almost like, uh, you know, Jeff Fed went and saw my first match, <laughs> my first match, and then decided to mirror that. But uh, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is, so SLKR, maybe SLKR versus, uh, versus Gas? I don't know. Um, or maybe JML versus Gas. I think SLK against 
gas. And then you can JML the CLS for yeah, really easy. Yeah, that might be that might be the way to go. Um, so SLKR, keep in mind, I don't have the ultimate, so I'll have to. Let's see what first order I have as well. <laughs> this is going to be a. That's... <laughs> oh wow! I've got all the B grade first orders over here. That's fine. You have first order officer and phasma. Phasma yeah. will give you a turn meter, and first order officer will obviously give you a turn. Okay. Uh, all right. So SLKR versus uh, gas, you think, might be the best option? I think so. All right. Let's do that. Just don't, don't do the AOE. Uh, yeah. Until you kill fives there. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. Well, I can do the AOE as long as um, gas is still standing. Right, right. Which is the better guy, the uh, special forces guy, is better. Uh, yes, yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, all right, all right. Hold on. Let us. Sarah, do you agree? Supreme Leader Kylo, even without the ultimate against gas, and then Jedi Master Luke against uh, CLS. Um, oof. both of those are like have sketchy po points. Uh, if if it's between those, then yeah, you don't have anything else that kills them. Do you have General Grievous available? I don't remember. Nah, unfortunately, Grievous is on defense. If I just look at what so... you have. I don't. I'm guessing you probably have the right stuff selected. I just so no. I have a JTR. I don't have CLS or Grievous, which uh, could have done something against uh, Gas and uh, and CLS. But I do have uh, Jedi Master Luke, Jedi Knight Luke. I've got my full Resistance squad with the heroes. I've got uh, I've got Supreme Leader Kylo, obviously, and I've got Vader. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think, I think Kylo might honestly be a little better against the Commander Luke team. And then if you use, do you need Watt for somewhere else? Because you could use Watt with Jedi Master Luke. Against and, Gas? Yeah. Uh, because then they have to focus on, on, on your Luke and your Luke is, you know, going to be regenerating and stuff. And as long as he has protection, they're gonna, not going to be reducing your yeah. max health. So maybe Jedi Knight Luke lead with uh, Watt and Jedi Master Luke against Gas. Jedi Knight lead or Jedi Master Luke lead? Um, I, I was thinking Jedi Master, but yeah, I I, I would do Master too, because okay. two lead abilities uh, uh, with any Jedi called will sit Gas down. Okay. And, so and you don't have to worry about um, defense on fives. Mm, okay. So let's try that then. Um, yeah, because uh, I, I, I don't I? see. Your, your Commander Luke team, or your Supreme Leader Kylo team is going to be fine against Commander Luke unless he's got a transcendent Commander Luke, I think. Mm. Which so he doesn't. Think this team... he's got your and... So this has got plenty of healing. Hermit Yoda, Shakti. And it's got Watt in there as well. If you can spare this, that's probably what I would do. Yeah, I think I can yeah. spare this team. Um, against the CLS, I'm going to use... Uh, so what uh, first order comp am I going to use against CLS? Pretty much what you picked earlier. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think if that works, then, um, then I think this should be okay. Then the thing is against yeah, Grievous, whatever, I'll have to probably try my uh, my Night Sisters versus Grievous because I don't think I have anything else. <laughs> and that uh, Grievous has a newt in there, so it's going to be a little tricky. But I yeah. think, yeah, this is going to end up being a slugfest anyway, so that's fine. So Dixitron, this is just to keep more as much uh, protection on Jedi Master Luke as possible is why he's why uh, we want to use Jedi Master Luke lead because we want him to be taunting and everything, but we also don't want him to be reducing max health. I think this will be fine though. Yeah, I think it should be okay. Okay, this is going to make him sit down. Then we can focus on fives. Where is Mr. Fives? There you go. <laughs> It's funny, from the cam mission, I know them better from behind now, since they all wear different oh. pants. 
Oh, they wear different pants. Interesting. I always look at their helmets. I'm like, wow. these look so similar. And then I look at their guns. That's how I tell. Yeah. The uh, so Echo has the straight blue pants. That's the easiest way to remember him when you're picking him on the uh, cam mission. Oh, you're gonna stand up? Before, damn it all. I mean, yeah, we have to. We'll have to get some healing done with these guys. Yeah. Look at that. Snapped right back into full protection there, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think it was a good call taking in Watt over here. There we go. Sat back down. Who needs healing? Should be Shark. There we go. Sweet. It is going to come down to an efficiency match, I think. Yeah. I actually called Watt over there <laughs> to assist. <laughs> Just because he needed some healing. Oh, the problem fair. is, what is Grievous, or Grievous, Skywalker going to do when he stands up? Okay, no right. way At least it was only really basic. Okay, all right. Nice. Okay, excellent. Let's heal up a little bit. Yeah. All right, uh, so everybody's at full health and full protection <laughs> except kinda, for... You kind yeah, of I don't mind... Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm... Okay, I got for 59, uh, just to give everyone <laughs> an update. But uh, Okay, well. Yeah, I'm going to wait a minute for uh, for the screen to All come right, back. Now it's, now it's working. Please, oh. please wait while we'll Endal's APK. I yeah. mean, while well, well, the screen loads. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right, 59 is not bad. No, no, definitely not. 59 no, against like... gas is a solid result. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I think thing. Supreme Leader Kylo would have been, like, close to 40, if not actually 40. If not dead, <laughs> in fact. Yeah. Like, without, yeah, good point. Without that ultimate. I mean, I I just recently did the cheese match uh, on my alt with, like, pretty pretty bad characters, actually. Com and I beat a non-ultimate Supreme Leader Kylo. Like, that, that ultimate changes things. But that's also really because the AI is dumb AF. Yeah. You're right. I, it still sketches me out, though. So. All right. So this is the team I'm taking against uh, Stormtrooper against a CLS. Um, yeah. It's a B Supreme Leader Kylo squad without the ultimate, but I think it's the best shot I have. Yeah. The thing is, you want Ooh. First Order Officer. <laughs> oh, That's wow. fine. Stun yeah, Chewie. He's... Then First Order Officer feeds turn meter. Wow, yep. his Phasma uh, dies. Man. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll win, but it won't be pretty. Uh, uh that's the definition of Supreme Leader Kylo. Uh, what does this do? Call and assist, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which or should I, I get would. rid of? Chewy, three PO. Uh, yeah. Get rid of Chupio, Yeah. Chupio. Especially with G twelve. Reduce his oh, health gone. or his turn meter. Oh, here we go. You won't actually well, lose at least, first. Uh, <laughs> at least first order officer survived. Yay. <laughs> hey, Endal, you got one point better than everybody else that uses Supreme Leader Kylo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 48, man, what a disgrace. I was I was about to say, well, at least that's, that's a decent score for 3v3. Then I realized it wasn't. <laughs> Um, no, it, it happens. On, uh, hot, the, my fox got taken out without even taking a turn. Man, that was uh, ridiculous. Yeah, that CLS team is so good. <laughs> you just didn't yeah. have a pre taunt. That's the. Yeah, well, it that doesn't matter with Han. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. You could just. All right. So, <laughs> what am I going to use against these guys? Oh, is it is it Hux that gives everyone a starting advantage? Mm -hmm. I think that's that's the thing I was missing. I was like, they're doing so yeah. much damage right now. Yeah, it was but Hux. it was because of because yeah. no Hux. All right, all right, I get it. Okay, so I'm have to I'm gonna have to try some really funky stuff over here. So definitely Night Sisters versus the Grievous. I don't have anything else which can take out the Grievous, unfortunately. Uh, um, with a G11 new, that should be fine. Maybe. Yeah, I'm hoping the the, the new dies fast. So let's uh, let's get our night sisters in there. This isn't unbeatable, regardless, though. Actually, like, right. Yeah. It's gonna be a sketch fest the whole time, but. Oh, absolutely! It's uh, 
that's how it is with the... <laughs> it's the oh, definition there you go. of this matchup, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I can probably take out Newt once. Actually, I like the stun and then just don't try to kill him now. Because you don't want to get yeah. this started, yeah. in my opinion. You're kind Should of I again. focus down on B... One, B2. B2 is actually the way to go, right? B or should I just do Plague? Yeah, I would do Plague, and then when you have, if you have another opening at some point, then focus B1. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I would. I'd open with Plague, and then, I, in my opinion, B, B2 is the one you want to kill. But mm. for, for the most part, like, you're just, B1's just going to kill himself anyways. Jeez. Uh -huh. All right, oh, we no. got extortion not on. Uh, not on Daka. Okay, damn it all. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, you okay. can. Let's see if I can recover from this. So you, if you have base, if you have zombie, go again. Use basics for from zombie to give more turn meter to old Daka. Yeah. Because the basic, yeah. you summon someone, they die. She gains turn meter. Yeah. You're doing. You're actually not doing. Too bad, like you're surviving. Oh, you can just like focus B1 down now. B1? Oh, uh, I thought. Or B2. Take B2. Yeah, that's the one. Dear Lord, come on. This dumb Oh, oh no. no! Come on. Ah, oh, damn it all. And I didn't even take anyone down. Damn. <laughs> so that I'm was that dick. I know, I know. All right, what the hell am I going to do to take these guys out? <laughs> now? Well, all right, so what do you have left now? I have um, Vader, which I was planning to use against. Well, I've got Mon Mothma as well. Uh, oh. oh, how good I've is your Mothra? Because Mothma um, can just focus down B1 at the very least. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking I, I first take out the Padme squad first. That could prove problematic. Yes, Vader, you can always work down. Um, so By you're Vader, probably he right. means Grievous. Or, good lord, yes. Yes, yes I do. Yep. That's... You can you can always do <laughs> do a gom on yeah. on Grievous. I mean you guys have seen me like well, I... chop the chop them down in like seven hits. I just <laughs> I just did that last on Wednesday, so <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah, as long as Watt isn't in there. Watt's the one that's like Yeah. I can't you can't attrition with that down. But madness. Okay. So <laughs> Should I, um, should I take out the... Don't tag me with that garbage. <laughs> I've got my Sith... Let's see, I've taken out both the teams down south. So I've got my Sith, uh, my Treya over there. Should I use Treya, maybe EP lead with Sith Trio and Thrawn? Or uh, do I need Vader in there against Padme? Uh... You don't need... Oh, so how's your Sith Trio, I guess? Cause... Yeah, it's all G12. <laughs> it's not that great. Oh man. Um, I think uh, EP lead is definitely the way to go, right? Maybe. I. Yeah, I've seen that. I just recently saw it go south. Actually, that's why I. Mm. Yeah, I think I think this comp does well with against EP lead. Actually, without without, without three PO. Yeah. Without three PO and without Barris, I think Barris was the other piece that my friend lost against. So. Okay. So let me do that then. EP lead with Treya, Sion, and Nihilus, and then uh, and then Thrawn. You know, or I would take I, use... I would take Thrawn here because you have you have uh, Gear Twelve guys. Like they're yeah. they're gonna be like Padme Squad's gonna be doing like real damage to them yeah. beyond the courage, just because yeah. Gear Twelve the versus Gear Thirteen. So who are you gonna use Vader with? So maybe instead of, I've got a comment over here, EP, Vader, Thrawn, Treya, and Sion. No I, Nihilus? I usually leave Sion out. Hmm. I mean... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, maybe Vader instead of Sion. How does this look? Yeah, I like I, Sion because he wipes out all the bonus protection. That's true. Uh, that's that's a good point. I just well, like... Oh, you know what, though? If you have, if you have Padme isolated... There's not going to be much bonus protection, though. Yeah, that's right. right. It, it's when Anakin or does Zoe or Ahsoka does her um, special. Yeah, like I, I think this is probably the 
the best build. Is your Thrawn going to be able to get your Treya to isolate Padme? Yeah, yeah. Thrawn is faster than yeah. Padme. What about... Uh, everybody judges me when I say Vader lead, but... So I do Vader lead, Sith Trio, and Thrawn. You know, I like the Vader lead just because they always have damage over times for Vader to, to yeah. wield. So it's a slower team, plus you're getting a 30% offense, which never hurts. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if Vader's going to go before, and if he triggers yeah, so uh, that, you know, that, crit immunity. That is the question, because you want... You need Thrawn, basically, to go... Yeah. I mean, if my Vader is faster, I can always do a basic on GK first and then get my Thrawn to go and isolate uh, Padme. And then uh, in Vader's next turn, I can do his Merciless. Yeah, you yeah. can have a delayed turn. Yeah. I mean, then true. they might have, they could have their protect. That's probably the best way to do it, actually. Because then Scion can go, he can yeah. wipe out all their bonus protection. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try that. Okay, so Vader does go first. I'm going to do a basic on Kenobi. Oh, Pass yep. it to Treya. Pass it to Treya. Isolate Pass. and give it back to Thrawn. Sure. May as well. It would have also been... Oh, no, 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 no. no. All right. <laughs> oh! Whoa, all right. Gone south. Uh, you still that might have... You, you still might have legs. We'll see. Problem is at G12... Yeah, we'll Man, see. They're not going to survive they, at G12. Yeah. Well, they, so they're not getting all the bonus protection right now, though. They they may. Just use your big hits where you can. Yeah, can you get to a Nihilus? Yeah, I, would rec I would recommend just hitting GK, actually. Yeah, I agree. For now, just so that he doesn't, uh, he doesn't taunt. So you can annihilate Padme. Yeah, that's yep. a good idea. Padme or... Uh... No, annihilate yeah, Padme. That way, I, if you have to clean it up. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 100%. Good point. Padme. Uh, All right. Yeah, and yeah. then maybe die, potentially. <laughs> That's what's yep. going to happen. <laughs> I am going to die. Well, we'll see. They're still not going to get all the bonus protection and stuff, and Sion has his... I always think of it in terms of his win condition. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they're hitting him and he's got that, then you're you're gonna be better. Man, it's been a while since I've been in a slug fest. This is uh, this is good. <laughs> this <laughs> is a, really interesting. First week, baby. First week. Oh, That's... don't don't hit Nihilus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh don't... come on, no. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now it's just right. a collection of Jedi and R two. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm I'm actually curious to see if my. Um... Uh, now that Padme is not there, maybe Mon Mothma can clean these guys up. What do you guys think? I think she. Um, yeah, I think so. Let me think. Who has the cleanse? Uh, the problem is R two because mm. it's going to take a long time to chew through that GK. Um, yeah, but they're not healing anything. That's true, though. and actually, Anakin won't be uh, cleansing with his um, AOE yeah. either. Should well, I play Mon Mothma against that? You'll also yeah. be putting that debuff on GK most times, actually. Oh, and it's, mm. it's only an R5 GK, too. Um, well, yeah. Well, I, well, I guess I was, the maybe, question is, do you maybe want... Maybe Mon Mothma, Mon Mothma might be better against a Grievous, you think? Well, that that's what I was just going to ask, is... Oh, you've got, you've got Geo's too. Geo's could probably finish this. Geo's will take that up. Geo's... Yeah, I was thinking Geo's against the JTR squad. What's the... Well, the, they're going to go first anyway. What's the speed of JTR? There's no BB-8 in there, but yeah, there's... Uh, oh, but they do have a faster fin, hero fin. Right, right. Yeah, I, is, I don't know oh, if... Man. Yeah, I don't know if Geo's will do a good job against uh, heroes. I, I wouldn't so that's... count on that one, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got my, my own resistance heroes that I can do a mirror match, resistance versus resistance. And I've got my bounty hunters. I've got my Geo's. But Bounty? I need a... Well, my Geo's, if I'm not using against JTR and I'm not using Geo's against uh, Grievous, then I probably might as well just use Geo's against uh, the cleanup for Agreed. the Padme. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Let's uh, clean up with the uh, Geo's. 
and then we'll figure out what to do with the others. All right, let's take this in. Man, I love a good uh, slugfest. <laughs> It's fun to it's fun every once in a while, but I can yeah, tell you I hate it every second it of it stresses, on Wednesday. <laughs> it stresses me out big yeah. time sometimes. Like in the I, moment, at the end, I always feel it's like uh, getting done with a big workout or something. Yeah, so like ah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like. Oh, just don't kill her. Don't kill him yet. Get those banners. Don't die, yeah, Ahsoka. Don't I don't think it'll be possible She's, for me to delay this. Yeah. She's like, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one problem about Geos. It's like every basic is going to be six hits, and you're like, well, I'm not keeping that one alive. <laughs> yeah, you start selecting the people with the lowest health so yeah. that you're like, all right, like you're going to send everyone in to kill that one guy so that yeah. you can survive a little longer. So than I've got uh, Bounty Hunters and I've got Mon Mothma. And I've got my JTR squad. Should I do a JTR mirror? I think you should. Uh, yeah, is, your, I don't know. is your fin faster? Actually, it doesn't matter. It is. Your JTR is going to be faster anyway. Yeah, yeah and my fin is also droids. faster, so um, I think uh, I think I should be fine. Yeah, but just... I don't know what else can take out that squad. It's a it's a legit squad. Uh, he so here's the one thing to remember is that oh. their JTR is going to be getting turn meter. Yeah, because mm -hmm. every time you cause a debuff on someone on her team, she gains, what, like 20%? She gains a certain amount of turn meter for every debuff. Yeah. And it's going to boost her into going really early. Mm. Yeah. So you, you just got to keep in mind, like, the, the Jedi mind trick thing might... Uh... Backfire. Mm. Yeah, yeah may maybe. Well, no. I, I don't know, so for sure. The Jedi mind trick is going to be on JTR. And then so should fin, I... Jedi Mind Trick JTR, then you Finn swaps turn meter with Poe while targeting their Finn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, now you can do that and call BB-8. Oh, and then that was perfect. Swap turn meter with Poe and Finn's dead and you've won. Yep, that's about it. There you go. Yeah. The the trick was you just had to reduce JTR's turn meter so that um, mm. when she gains turn meter, it, do, it means nothing. Because they don't have BB-8 and you did. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, let's reduce Scavenger down. She can potentially kill someone. Yeah. Man, I usually never have these guys on offense, but I forget how how great they, these guys are. Oh, the this, heroes. this team is absurdly good. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh... I, need I like to, it on defense, too, though. I need to speed my uh, fin up again. There we go. 60 banners. Not bad. Yep. Doesn't suck. All right. Now it's, uh... Work down on Grievous time. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> With whatever I have left. Yeah, and I will be right back because I need a drink. Let's uh, review what we have. We've got Bounty Hunters, we've got Mon Mothma, we've got... Uh, uh, that's about it. <laughs> how good How good are your uh, Bounty Rebel Hunters? Rebel Fighters? And, well, at Rebel Fighters too, yes. Let's take a look. Um, well, I've got the, the main culprits and Kara. And I've got. Um, okay, so you don't have any of like the somewhat K2SO specialized ones. or one. Cassian and all here. I don't okay. have any, any of those guys. Um, I think that might be the best one to start with to try to just focus some of these guys down a little mm -hmm. bit. I I don't know, like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I don't think. I don't know. Like, what? How good are your bounty hunters? I guess is the other question. Well, bounty hunters can always clean up, I guess, afterwards. Um, I've got decent bounty hunters. Let's see. Nah, not not that great. <laughs> <laughs> no, those, okay. those will finish him off, though. You, you've got yeah. Mando in there. Like you're 12 Mando, though, so you probably don't want to. Yeah. Probably just want to call it good, honestly. Like use them, use them to back you, like to to clean up. How good yeah. are your Ewoks? Oh, uh, I think serviceable. They probably might be able to 
Nah, nah I don't, oh, I don't think gear, they might be able to. Gear 11, up. Gear 11 can finish yeah. off a lone General Grievous. Yeah, I'm not worried about a lone General Grievous. I've got Jin and 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 a few other turn meter reduction squads to to take care of them. Um, so I think yeah, I think I'm going to do Mon Mothma first um, to at least take down the bulk of the squad. Okay. Mm, who do I go with? Pow, the turn meter version, or. Uh, these guys, Biston, Pow. So I wouldn't go with all that much gear. Twelve. I, I wouldn't take Pow at all because Pow, Pow will just evaporate, frankly. Yeah, actually, yeah. Honestly, Maybe. I I would just go with the with Biggs and Wedge here, actually, instead of Biston. Mm, okay. Even though I like Biston, I you you got relics and I don't know. I, I assume that these guys are decently modded. It's you. Yeah, they are. They're pretty decently modded, and uh, I mean, they'll survive, I think. This. So I tried a similar squad to this uh, against a Grievous squad, and it, it didn't do that great. I just. Mm. I mean, okay. it didn't win. I think it would have killed some things, though. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get rid of Magnagard first because Grievous is going to take sure. a turn anyway. All right. Oh, Goodbye not bad. To it Magnagard. wasn't that bad. Yeah. Now you can no. focus B two. Wow, yeah, you're getting some good hits in. I forget that Biggs and Wedge actually do some pretty heavy damage. Yeah, oh wow. Um, well. I need to get rid of B2, there we go. Oh yeah. Okay, at least a couple of guys down. This is clean upable now. Yeah. Mon Mothma never took a turn. Oh, you can revive uh, someone and potentially, I mean, oh, you even got the right one back, sweet. Yeah. Oh, come on, just come kill on, B1 Come here. on, come on, little bit, little uh, bit. I can't see it. We lost, we lost the video. Oh, there, right, there it is. Oh. oh, come on, you got it, you got oh, it. Oh, yes, yes, I got B1. <laughs> awesome, yeah, this one is cleanable. Yeah, this one is definitely cleanable. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Newt and Grievous. So, not bad. I think Mon Mothma did his job. Uh, now, Bounty Hunter. So, they will be able to prevent the Newt revive, and then we just need to keep Grievous under control. Yeah. So disappointing because Wampa would take out a lone Grievous. We only got Newt too. Yeah. Okay, so bounty hunters. Let's see what bounty hunters I have. What lead should I go? Um Bosk? I'd probably still do Bosk, yeah. Yeah, I the additional protection. Definitely. Because... Yeah. Uh, you're, so you're gonna focus now, you'll kill Newt and then it'll be hiding. And then you won't be able to get your contract for a little bit. Well, I can kill uh, Newt with Django or Boba. Oh, true, true. So, yep. Yeah. If you can time it the right way, yeah, definitely. I think you can. Good thing is, uh, even if I get Grievous below uh, full health, he can't he force won't, the uh, taunt. He can't force the taunt, yeah. Good point. Oh, excellent. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, this is easy enough. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> oh, there you go. Amanda's easy like, enough. but I, but I wanted to <laughs> disintegrate him. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so close. We just got the contract and he died. Well, um, it was ugly. But um, I think I'm actually glad that my opponent has kept a decent amount on defense, which means that apart from his three GLs, he doesn't have that much more on offense. I'm hoping that he drops a few battles. Let's see what ships he has. Okay, he's got uh, First Order and Rebels. First Order. All right. Mm, okay. So I've got my Radis fleet. I've got my... Mm -hmm. Dufin, you're right, man. I love, I love a successful Zerg on Grievous. It's <laughs> yeah. fun, I honestly. Yeah, like... it's been a while since I've done a Zerg, so I, I'm really enjoying myself today. <laughs> yeah. Like... All right, so this is interesting. So my opponent has really changed up his ship defenses as well, because he usually goes with, um, I think, uh, uh, yeah, I think he does. Uh, uh, Separate a squad on defense, usually. So, the nice. one thing that we can say here is, you know, he obviously, with a little help from a friend, 
in chat um, changed up his defenses, but that means his offense, he's not used to. Mm. And there is something to be said about using teams that you're not used to yeah. using on offense. That's a very good point, yeah. Yeah, but he yeah. does have three jails on offense, which he usually doesn't have. So right. that might, uh, you know, that might be a welcome change for my opponent. But maybe anyway. people get awkward with GLs if they don't know how to use them, too. I mean, yep. So I'm thinking uh, malevolence versus the first order and uh, empire or Radus versus the uh, the rebels. Or should I do uh, malevolence versus rebels? I, I don't like Malevol or I don't like Radis versus Rebels that much, honestly. Em empire might be better, right? Yeah. Yeah. If, if so you have a good Empire, yeah, I would do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's do Malevolence versus uh, First Order. Yeah, Malevolence should melt that First Order. Did you pick the right yeah. team? It seemed like you just now clicked on Rebels, but maybe I'm just. Oh, okay. Let me make sure I click <laughs> on the right okay. one. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of paranoid paranoid about that. Just, right. just looking out. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Makes me nervous. Uh, am I frozen again? Oh, no. No, that no. Seems to be okay. Yeah. Okay. I think there should be more than enough. Just, uh... yeah, the, the great thing about uh, Separatists is, um, against First Order is that First Order doesn't have any cleanse, which, uh, which means that, uh, that Separatists just, uh, you know, chew through them pretty easily. Yeah. All right, let's get some. Who is the main damage hero? Kylo Ren unmasked. By far, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's go and get rid of him first. Oh, yeah, he should be okay. Of he finds a way to take a turn. The jerk. Oh, there goes my Sunfac. <laughs> there goes to Kylo Ren. Oh, man. Okay. There are some nights where it just feels like <laughs> everything will go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome All to right. first week of 5v5, guys. I know. <laughs> well, um, at least my ship battles are going more smoothly than, than uh, Fruit Ninja <laughs> Mike's. Did you guys check, oh, check out Lord. his stream today? I felt what happened? so bad. Well... I felt bad until I realized he was my competitor, and I was like, "Oh." No. <laughs> so did, I, did I managed to catch. I, I he didn't clear. He uh, uh, oh, it was a really uh, really RNG fest for him. So he had uh, five battles against uh, against the, sh in the ships, and he wasn't able to clear by by just one ship. So he had just a, a geo ship remaining behind. I think spy or soldier was, or something. It was and, spy. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was spy. And half the half of life remaining on it. And he had a capital ship. He had mace left, but he didn't have any other ship to go with mace. If he had uh, even one ship left, he yeah. would have been able to to clear. Yeah. But it was a, it was a really a sad situation. He had five battles, two against uh, the Empire, and I think three against uh, the uh, the Malevolence, and yeah. he wasn't able to clear. So guys, uh, not not to not to just like only make this into a lesson or whatever. This that like that particular scenario doesn't happen often, but when it does, that's why I like to put use three or fewer ships in reinforcements just to give me a little bit more, you know, yeah. versatility later. Because it, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Though, because I've had fleet battles that I've only won. Because it came down to the last sub, and I had one, and my opponent didn't. So, right. it, it really is a, like, no matter what you do, <laughs> you could lose. Oh, so just trying to find a balance where you yeah. can. Like, on my defenses, I actually have been putting 4 of 4 lately. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, just just and as it, a, you know. It also ahead. depends on the team, too. Like, if you want a certain character or ship to come out, like, I'd say Negotiator, you place Negotiator on defense. Don't place Clone Sergeant in the reinforcements if you want Flo to come out. Like, it's just, you know... So, there's also the strategic... There's a reason why there's only three or two reinforcements. So, what do I take against uh, Rebels? Empire should do, right? It, it should. Or Depending on what yeah. your I mean, empire no looks Bist like. But... Yeah, there's no Biston in there. And uh, I mean, I don't have Relic Gar or anything like that, but uh, I oh. do have a decent uh, 
a seven star bomber and a and a decent raider dude my uh i'll, I'll be honest my my uh, empire fleet without gar I would still expect before I got Gar up. I mean, I would still expect a sixty-five against this. Right. Well, okay. I mean, the question is, if you were um, going against an Empire fleet, would you ever want to bring this Rebel fleet? Mm. And the not answer this is one. Not, yeah, right. not without Biston, I would say. Right. Right. Should I go with the uh, Sith? Um, that Sith sit tanking ship. Which so if you that? do that, you reduce your TIE Bomber's max health. Mm-hmm. Or protection, right. whatever it is. Like yeah. his, I How good is your TIE Fighter? Because in my opinion, that's the power combo, those I three agree. to start with. Wait, unless you have Gar Saxon's ship, the Gauntlet, which you said you don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't have that. I mean, I have it, but not geared up. I mean, it's G12, but... Um... I th- G12 should be good enough. My, mine, was, mine was gear 12 all the way through when I was... Uh, yeah. 192. Yeah, he's fast enough. I think I can I can do this. So I got Gar and I've got Emperor Shuttle. Um, who else do I take in? No, maybe taking the bomber over here. I would take bomber in here. Yeah, for the days. Yeah, the days is always helpful against these guys. Right. All right. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> oh, I still just have uh, one thing to point out before you take your first move with Tie Fighter Pilot. I almost always, instead of trying to cause target lock, I almost always, oh, never mind, Falcon's going first. I was going to say you should do your foresight thing, which maybe you still should, because uh, next up is going to be your, your Vader anyways. Mm-hmm. But that way, you're going to feed turn meter to your capital ship. Yeah. Ah, jeez. Yeah, I hate first it when thing. that happens. With the, That's why I want to get rid of the Wiving first. They landed it. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. All right. Once I get the burning out, then it's a way easier battle. Yes. Much better because they're not they're not assisting anymore. And uh, I get way more offense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Vader just starts <laughs> one-shotting people. And, it's great. Yeah. I think I, was, I I got Vader up to like 180k oh, yeah. one time. Just, oh, there went that ship. Yeah, it, it's very Silencer-esque. Yeah. yeah. I would heal someone there. <laughs> I just got rid of that guy. <laughs> or or, uh, or remove him. That's also cool. And also, like, <laughs> uh, not Man. healing anyone. No. No. <laughs> just to get your bomber to max health. Yeah, and this one. Here. Yeah. Oh, it recovers health as well, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was close. It wasn't quite. Yeah. You know, I still get it. It though. filled his protection yeah. up, at least. No, yeah. I don't mind. 63 is, is yeah. good enough. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. my the So my opponent has malevolence and... Um, yeah, he'll probably be able to clear my ships with that. I mean, there's a he'll probably use a negotiator mirror, and yeah. then malevolence versus the the uh, rebels fleet. So Don't. he probably will be able to clear it. Yeah. I would recommend not giving your opponent recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you kidding? Yes, yeah. use the negotiator mirror and put it up to RNG. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Please. Twenty sixty. Um, uh, that's that's not good. That's uh, I I always want to get above twenty one hundred, but. I think, given the uh, the defense that my opponent has has put, they might struggle a little bit. Yeah. I hope. Let's see. Yeah. Gig, thank you for the cheer. Um, yeah, hopefully. I mean, I've got uh, I've got a uniformly tough defense. I've got my own gas and CLS in here. Right. I've got uh, my Darth Revan, which my opponent doesn't have his own Darth Revan or gas, so they'll have to use a GL against that. And I've got uh, my Mando squad over here. With uh, and he doesn't have JTR to take against the uh, the crew team as well, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, I think I should be okay. Uh, it was a bit of a slog, but uh, but I think I'll be fine. Uh, it, it yeah, I mean you basically yeah. mirrored, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. It, it, he's gonna have the same troubles you did. Yep, absolutely. Cool. Well, I hope we find out. Oh, we'll find out eventually. Right. I hope the yeah. masses do too. <laughs> uh, yep. All right. So, Zareth, do you just want to share it in Discord? Um, I can. I've 